uh, glaucoma is a chronic uh, progressive disease uh, which uh, until the very end is uh, mostly uh, without any symptom. And the patient, it's very hard for the patients uh, to understand the reason for the therapy. And considering that uh, traditionally the medical therapy is the first step uh, in the treatment of glaucoma, it's very difficult for the patient to accept the local and the systemic side effects to, uh, to accept the strict regimen, uh, the difficulties in uh, using the drops, and uh, mostly the feeling uh, of a never-ending uh, therapy. Uh, these are all well-known barriers uh, to the use of medical therapy in glaucoma, which at the very end uh, lead uh, to a very poor adherence. Uh, and even worse, uh, in some cases, the patients are really rejecting the disease, and so they are just uh, disappearing, which is terrible for the outcome of the visual uh, function. It's, uh, it really depends uh, on uh, how you are explaining the pros and cons of medical therapy and the pros and cons of SLT. So when I'm uh, starting uh, a patient on therapy, I'm always explaining to him that there is a possibility to use a laser to lower intraocular pressure by rejuvenating the physiological outflow pathway instead of using drops. And uh, generally, considering the side effects that drops uh, can provide to the patient, uh, they are mostly willing to start with the laser. I'm also explaining that uh, the, the worst case scenario with the laser is the, the, the lack of efficacy, which can happen easily also with drops uh, and without significant uh, clinical consequences. Yes, definitely. SLT can replace uh, one or more medical uh, therapies. And as a matter of fact, I'm using SLT not only as a primary therapy, but uh, when uh, a patient needs uh, more uh, dr drugs uh, to have his uh, pressure controlled. Let's say when uh, the patient is more than one fixed combination, I'm generally uh, proposing uh, SLT. Uh, another clinical case uh, where SLT is really uh, useful is when there is intolerance to one drop and uh, if this happens uh, you can easily change the, the, the intolerant drug with SLT which is with great benefit for the patient in terms of quality of life. Well one of the most significant benefit for, uh, for SLT is uh, that uh, the control of the disease is not in the hands of the patient but goes back in the hands of the ophthalmology that it should be. Uh, certainly this is very important, but on the other hand we have to consider uh, a, a drawback for that. Uh, when the patient is using drops uh, every day, every single time he's uh, uh, putting the drops in his, in, his, in his eyes, he's remembering that uh, he has glaucoma. And while, while, while when we are using SLT, the, the risk is that the patient can feel that the laser is a cure for the disease and then forget to go back to the, to the office to do all this functional and structural examination, and which is very, very, very risky. So it's very important for the ophthalmology to be very clear as, uh, so that the patient is going to understand perfectly what is the meaning of SLT and uh, what is its role in the management of glaucoma. Another benefit uh, is definitely the lack uh, of systemic and local side effect, which uh, is, is certainly uh, not affecting the quality of life of patient and in increasing the adherence that the patient have. Finally, SLT is working 24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, and is very stable, and it can really uh, flatten the, the diurnal curves of our patient, which is another big issue. Well, I'm uh, using SLT in many different ways, certainly as a primary therapy, uh, as an adjunctive therapy, uh, as replacement therapy, and uh, also uh, after uh, glaucoma surgery when the target IPD is not reached. As primary therapy, I think this is the most critical issue. Uh, the big advantage of SLT is that it's uh, effective in lowering intraocular pressure without uh, substantial side effect. It's interesting to see that uh, at least in Europe there is a lot of emphasis about uh, the side effects of benzalkonium chloride, uh, which we know is toxic for the ocular surface. And so companies, uh, pharmaceutical companies, are really pushing very hard uh, toward uh, back-free 
compounds uh, used once a day to increase the, the, the to, to less affect the quality of life of the patient. But it's interesting to see that ophthalmology should always keep in mind that SLT is totally back free. It has no regimen, uh, so in terms of uh, of quality of life, is definitely far better than uh, whatever drug. I'm also using uh, SLT as a adjunctive therapy and generally when a patient is not controlled with uh, one uh, fixed combination I better like to go toward SLT instead of adding other drugs because uh, it decreases the risk of side effects and uh, certainly it decreases the risk of being non-adherent uh, on the side of the patients. And uh, finally, uh, especially recently during the, the past 10 years we are facing more and more intolerance to drugs and uh, when this happens, uh, beside the, 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 how this is affecting quality of life of our patient, there is the big risk that the patients are not adherent anymore to their therapy. So when this happens, uh, just replace the drug with SLT is always uh, very important uh, if we really want to manage in a good way our patient. Finally, after trabeculectomy, after glaucoma surgery, if we are not getting uh, to, the, to the target IOP, you can easily add SLT and it works very well.